video, we're going to move up to level 2 of rotation. And in the last video, you must have noticed that every point was always in line with the center. In this, like I said, we're going to we're going to divide this into levels and we're going to do this step by step. So we're, we're taking things up a notch. And here, the points that we're going to rotate, although the center is origin, so you don't have to worry about that. However, the points that we're going to rotate are not always going to be in line with the center of rotation. Okay. So... Now you may be looking at this weird shape that I've drawn here, but just hang in there. I'll explain what this means. So in the first example, we have to rotate the point A to comma three about the origin. That means that's what our center is. 90 degrees clockwise, 180 degree clockwise, and 90 degree anti-clockwise. All right, so let's get straight to it. So here's what we do. How do, how do we use this sign? Okay, so this sign is to make your life easy. And uh, I will also show you the animation of how this point will look like when it gets 90 degrees rotated and it gets 90 degrees rotated clockwise. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. So from the center, we're gonna move towards A and we'll see what we have to do in order to do that. So from the center, if I wanna reach to A, I'm gonna have to go three units up and two units to the right. So let's mark this, let's track this movement on the sign here. So three units up and two units to the right. Now rotating at 90 degree clockwise means, I'll just write 12, three, six, nine here. Rotating this 90 degrees clockwise, I'll just highlight 12, three, six, nine so that you don't mix this up with three and two. Okay, so rotating this 90 degree clockwise basically means that this is gonna spin 90 degrees clockwise. So that means three units up is gonna become three units to the right and two units right is gonna become two units down, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do from the center. I'm gonna move this three units to the right and I'm gonna take this two units down. So when I do that, where do we end up? We end up over here and let's write down, let's call this A prime and the coordinates are three comma minus two. Okay, now let's do the same, but this time we're gonna rotate this 180 degrees. So I'm just gonna erase the previous answer, the previous marking, sorry. So now let's let's switch to another color, let's switch to green. So again, we're still moving three units up and two units to the right. So if I rotate this 180 degrees, now again, I've always said, I've said this before, I'll say this again, that rotating any point 180 degrees is the easiest thing there is. Why? Because you just reverse everything. So if for the object, you have to go three units up and two to the right, for the image, you will go three down and two to the left. Okay, and you can, you can, you can visualize this through this sign also, that you now, now you'll move three down and two to the left. So three down, three down, and two to the left. Now you may be wondering that, do I really have to make it this messy and do we have to draw these arrows again and again? And that's a good question if that's what you're thinking. But uh, the answer to that is that once you have enough practice of this concept and once you practice it using this sign, I can guarantee that it's gonna become a lot easier and you won't have to make this mess every time. So this right here is the answer to part two. I'll just write part two here. So the coordinates of A prime, and my suggestion to you is that first you rotate the point and once you've reached to the image, then you write down its coordinates. So the coordinates of A prime are minus two and minus three. All right, so now we come to the third part and I just realized I haven't labeled it part three. Okay, so there you go. Okay, now in the third part, we have to rotate it 90 degrees anti-clockwise. So let me just erase the previous markings. And rotating this, let's switch to the color blue. Yeah. So 90 degrees anti-clockwise means that this this thing that you see, see, let's raise this three and two also. Let's write this in blues, three up and two to the right. Rotating at 90 degrees anti-clockwise means that this is gonna spin like this. And now the image is going to be three units to the left and two up. So from the center, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go three to the left and two up. Uh, there you are. This right here is the answer to part three. All right, now let's solve another example. In case it's still not clear, just bear with me. I'm gonna do two more examples with you guys and hopefully by then it'll be clear. Okay, so here's example number two. And here, again, there are three parts. Let me just fix this real quick. Okay, so now for the first part, the point here is minus four one and you have to rotate this. Uh, 90 degrees clockwise, the same, the same as before. Okay, so let's just get straight to it. All right, so for the object, I'll move one unit up and four units to the left. Four units to the left. And the second you do that, you 
instantly realized that there's a problem. Why? Because this shape here that we're gonna use for rotation goes up but doesn't go left. So how do I fix that? Well, no biggie. All you gotta do is move horizontally first and then go up. So this way you have four units to the left and one unit up and there you go. So four units to the left four units to the left and one unit up, okay? Now remember, here I just track the movement, okay? I don't write the signs. If it's minus, it's obvious it's gonna be left. If it's minus, you know, if if the Y coordinate is minus, it's obviously, it's obvious that it's gonna be downwards, okay? So here we just write down the, here we don't consider the sign, okay? That we, we accommodate with the direction, okay? So four units to the left and one unit up. If I rotate this 90 degrees clockwise, so this thing is gonna spin and it's gonna come four unit up and one unit to the right. So let's do that real quick. Four unit up and one unit to the right. So where do we end up? We end up over here. Let's write part one here. And if I were to rotate this 180 degrees, how will that look like? Now with 180 degrees, as you guys know, there's no need to specify the direction. So the object is still four units to the left and one unit up. If I spin this 180 degrees, irrespective of whether I do it clockwise or anti-clockwise, it's gonna go four units right and one unit down. So let's just do that real quick. Four units to the right and one unit down. So this is the answer to part two. Now let's rotate this 90 degrees anti-clockwise. And for that, let's first erase this and switch to the color blue. So the object is still four units left and one unit up. If I rotate this 90 degrees anti-clockwise, that means that this thing is gonna spin and look like this. So it's gonna go four down and one left. So from the center, four down. Let me do this in blue. From the center, four down and one left. Sorry, one, not two. So where do you end up? You end up over here. Now let's write down the coordinates. I didn't. I just noticed I didn't write down the coordinates. So we'll start from part three. The coordinates for 90 degrees anti-clockwise are minus one and minus four. For 180 degrees, they are four comma negative one. And for 90 degrees clockwise, they turned out to be one comma four. All right, now let's do the third and the final example. And with this example, we will in this video and you guys have some practice questions waiting for you okay now so for our object here is c and c has coordinates minus two minus five let me just fix this again okay so from the center if i want to move towards c that means i'll have to go five units down and two units to the left so that let's let's write down over here. let's write that down over here five down and two units to the left now rotating this 90 degrees clockwise basically means 12, three, six, and nine. Means that this is gonna move in this direction. So five down will become five left and two left will become two up. So from the center, I will move this five to the left and two up. So this is where you end up. Here's the answer to part one. Let's write down the coordinates right away. So the coordinates are minus five and positive two. Now 180 degrees, again, the easiest thing there is. So instead of five down, we'll go five up, and instead of two left, we'll go two right. So I'll just do that directly without using the sign. So five up and two to the right. That means where do we end up? We end up over here, and the coordinates are two comma five. So two comma five. All right, now let's rotate this 90 degrees anti-clockwise, for which I will have to take the help of this sign. Now, let's erase this. Let's leave the clock intact. So I'll just rewrite 12 here. Okay, now from the center, this object of ours, this point C is five units down and two units to the left. So that means rotating at 90 degrees anti-clockwise is gonna take it five units to the right. And it's gonna take this two units down. So let's mark that from the center, five units to the right. Let's do this in blue, five units to the right and two units down. So there you have it. We have now successfully rotated this 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Also, let's write down the coordinates. The coordinates are five and negative two. Yeah. So uh, this was slightly more difficult than the previous one. and But I guarantee you that if you practice this method well enough, you will get the hang of it. And it's all about practice. The more you practice, the, the more you practice, the sooner you will get the hang of it. So yeah, 
there are some practice questions waiting for you so make sure that you guys attempt those and do check your answers and if there's anything that's not clear you always have the option of reaching out to us through the option of clear your doubts so that's all for this video i'll see you guys in the next one until then take care Bye bye